Who wants to see these operators in action? I do. Let's perform a little surgery. Nurse, I have a function, stats, and two operators, this one and that one. Oh boy. I hope this will be significant or sufficient example in order to understand the operations of these operators. Ready, 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 ready. This is the function formerly known as y, kind of like prints. So if I'm looking at um, p, d, one, acting on y, what I'm really looking at is I'm looking at p, d, 1, acting on e to the 5x plus x squared. Oh boy, it has that distributive property. Okay, so we're looking at p, d, 1, acting on e to the 5x plus p, d, 1 acting on x squared. Oh boy, what was PD1? It was totally one derivative minus five times the function e to the 5x and um, one derivative minus, wait for it, five acting on x squared. Let's go ahead, let's do this man. Oh, so one derivative of e to the 5x Yes, this says take one derivative of e to the 5x and subtract off five times e to the 5x. Oh boy! And then this is going to be plus one derivative of x squared times, or actually minus five times that very same x squared using the linearity property granted upon us by these operators. Oh boy, finish him. One derivative of 5e to the 5x is 5e to the 5x minus 5e to the 5x. Look what happened to that term. It just got annihilated. Foreshadow, good in literature, not so good in math. Okay, yeah, what am I saying? They're going to be additive inverses. So they go to zero. Ready, one derivative of this. This is plus 2. Uh huh. X, yes, minus five times X squared. Finish him. It appears after the dust settles and the fisticuffs all get fought out, we have two X minus five X squared. And then what? You know, box and flower. A more explorative example. Yeah, one that's a little bit more harder. Mm-hmm. What if we are looking at um, PD? Mm-hmm. Whoop. Two. And then this is acting on that function y. Okay, well, what are we gonna see here? We're gonna see, okay, stepping a couple of skips on this one, which I don't recommend, but hey, it's a video, so you can back that math up. This is gonna be um, d2, or two derivatives of the function, minus four, deriv four times one derivative of the function, minus five times the function. And what is that function? That function is, e to the 5x plus x squared. Okay, let's go ahead and use that linearity property, or the distributive property. Yeah, um, so we're gonna see two derivatives of, wait for it, e to the 5x plus x squared. And then we're gonna subtract off four times one derivative of e to the 5x plus x squared. And then we're gonna subtract off five times our function. Yeah, five times our function. And that function happens to be e to the 5x plus x squared. Here we go, whoa. Okay, close it, close it. Mm-hmm. Two derivatives. Ready, 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 ready. Steppins and skips, this is gonna be 25 e to the 5x, yes, because I do it once and twice. Okay, plus, um, plus, ready, 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 one, two, two, <laughs> oblivion, times one. Why? Because then that's 2x and then just two. Oh, boop, minus four times. Now I need to go and I need to take a couple of the derivatives of this guy. Ready, 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 five e to the 5x plus 
2. x to the 1. Okay, why? Because we only took one derivative this time. Uh-huh. Let's go ahead and close that up. Yeah. And then, and then, and then... Let's just leave this alone because we're going to have a distributed step anyway. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Why? Because I'm not taking any derivatives of this function. Here I took one derivative, and there I took two derivatives. Yes. e to the 5x plus x squared. Oh. Finish him. Yeah. Finish him. This is 25 e to the 5x plus 2 minus ooh, ooh, 20 e to the 5x. Okay. Come on. Come on, you're my boy, Blue. Let's do this. Minus 8x. Yes, did I, did I, did I? Yes. Minus 5e to the 5x. Minus, wait for it, 5x squared. Gather, collect, and combine. Gather, collect, and combine. And here we find you get what you need. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 oh, yes, I wish they all could be polynomials, mm-hmm, yeah, oh, yeah, caveat, a little extra on top, ooh, in that operator, if I was to take that operator, yes. PD2, one more time. And in, a, in another video, you said that we can factor as long as it's not linear or constant coefficients. Well, does it? Yes, it does. And that will factor into, wait for it, wait for it. D, I'm looking for the factors of 5 that subtracted before. Are there any? Yes, there so certainly are. There's um, 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 wait for it, wait for it. This is D5, D1, fun. Signs are different, big one's negative, positive, and it's still all good. Huh, I bet you want to see that act on this function. Right, we can see some of the nicer... Okay, so then, if I now have my PD2, PD2, oh, come on, my burger. And it's acting on e to the 5x plus x squared. Man, don't get me going on this stuff. No, it's not doing that. It's acting on it. Yes. So now our new factorization. I can say that it's going to be... Um, Constant coefficients. Totally commutative. Yeah. So then this is going to be d plus 1 times d minus 5 acting on e to the 5x plus x squared. Yes. Okay. So now let's just get this one acting upon that one. So I'm going to leave this alone. Don't touch it. Leave it alone. Okay. So then, bam, I'm talking about, I'm talking about d minus 5 acting on e to the 5x and d minus 5 acting on x squared. Oh, what happened here? Annihilation. Oh. Oh, oh, that just happened five minutes ago. Go back, look at that video. Oh boy. So now, this thing, I need to take one derivative of this and subtract off five times the function. So it appears to me that we're gonna see that this is gonna be two x, yes, minus five x squared. Oh, finish him. Yeah, so now I can take one derivative of 2x minus 5x squared, and then I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add it to plus one of those. Yes. One times. Ah, that's the wrong color. Yes, that's the right color. Yes. 
Um, 2x minus 5x squared. Oh, finish him. A derivative of this is 2 minus, wait for it, 10x, okay, and then plus 2x minus 5x squared. Yes, finish him. Gather, collect, and combine. And here we find that we get what we need. Minus 8x plus 2. Did we get the same thing? Uh-huh. And then what? Yeah! Study. Study.